Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to create this link and design to flow nicely for this chain design. Are you ready? Let's get started. To do any of the chain design, we need to figure out not only the structure of the chain, we also need to make sure that when you have the other two chain hook on together to this chain, they will be flexible. As starting from the scratch, I roughly want to have each of the link is about less than 10 millimeter. So I'm going to starting with something like this and to draw something like this. With this line, I'm going to draw another one snapping into the end point and coming into taper a little bit right there. And then I simply just going to mirror that one to the other side. All right, so now we have this. Let's go ahead to join, select all three and join together. I do not like the kink over there. So in this case, I'm going to rebuild this curve and I want to rebuild into something. It's really close to original one. It may have a little bit deviation, but this is what we want. We want to remove that kink there. Make sure the degree that you want is degree three. So in this Scenario, I have the point count for 12 and degree is 3 and let's click OK. Once you click OK, this, the line is getting a lot smoother. OK, the next one, you can have this line go straight or you can have them be a little bit rounded. If you want to, to be a little bit rounded, we are going to use the blend curve command and we're going to blend from here to here. And of course we don't want it to be so bumpy. So that's holding the shift and move it back for something like this. All right. So then we have something like this. You can continue to join them if you want to, and that will be our shape. Let's go ahead to use the offset command and we want to offset inside and to be whatever thickness you want. In this case, I want to have 1.2 millimeter and then we get something like this. Again, if you don't like the point, you can actually use the fit command and we want to fit it something like a 0.5 millimeter and we want to fit it from here to here. So it's a bit rounded if that were for you. Okay, so let's take a look on other view. If you take it in the perspective, all we draw and everything is from now on is completely flat, right? So I actually want them to be extruded and we want to extrude it correctly. So I wanted to measure um, using the dimension and I want to measure what I have here from quadrant to quadrant, right? At this point is 7.25. So in fact, I'm going to extrude it this one and coming into the solid, I want to extrude the planar curve straight and I want to extrude it on the both side, but we have 7.25. So I just need 7.25 divided by two, right? So the total length will be the same. So that will be that, all right? And I want to come into the front view hold on my gumball, rotate it 90 degree and hit the alt key on your keyboard. And then you will get something like this. Once you get into this stage, we're coming into the top view and I actually want to rotate it, this guy 180 degrees. So we'll get the structure like this. That's using the bowling intersection and we're going to click on this one, hit enter and click on this one, hit enter. And that's how we get this shape. Once you got the shape, we can cut it out the middle. Uh, we can have this one just coming into the solid extruded planar curve straight and we want to both side. And again, we want to making a copy by rotating 90 degree on my gumbo and holding the shift and also hit the all key and then you'll get something like this. Don't forget to rotate it this one as well because it is not the right direction. So that's rotate it 180 degree by holding the shift. All right. So once you've done that, let's go ahead to do it again. We want to do the Boolean difference. This one is our piece. It's going to be difference out from here. And so you cut it out that part first, and then we're going to do it again. We're going to do the Boolean difference from this one. 
So then we will get one link there. Before you make it into the chain, we want to make sure that this link is working. So I'm going to simply just do a test. This one is going to making a copy right here. And you want to see if it is blocking anything. In this case, it is a little bit. So that means you can only get it a little bit closer, right? So you want to see if it is blocking anything. If it does, then maybe you need to thinner this wire a little bit. If it is not, and then that will be great. So I'm going to bring just a little bit back. All right. We also wanted to do the fitted. So I'm going to hide in this one. That structure is working. So let's go ahead to use the fitted edges. And I want to have a small fillet. So for example, like 0.25. And I want to fit everywhere if it's possible. Now we finish the fitted and we take a look on it. And then if you click on this, you're going to see this is an open polish surface. The reason it is open polish surface is we have a naked edges. And I intentionally want to show you this because a lot of people asking me about how to fix the naked edges. My answer is always if you can not having naked edges, it's always better. And most of the time in this case, the naked edge is always coming into when you have everything coming into the point, something like this, then you will creating the naked edges or something inside right at this spot, right? So let's take a look if that is where the naked edges is coming into the edge tool. We have show edge and we click on this. And that is exactly where that is. You can see that has a naked edges there. And if you turn around and see, it doesn't have a naked edges outside. It always have a naked edges inside. All right. So if we go back one step, we know that's going to have a naked edges. We can only fit it outside if that will work. For example, uh, let's go ahead to do the fit edge one more time. I know outside has no problem. So I will do everything outside and also coming into here, here, here. All right, so everything outside and also you can do outside interior, but outside like this line right here, you can turn it over to do this line right here and also where on the bottom and to do this line right there and see if it has the problem. All right, click one more time and see it is a close po uh, solid polished surface. So that should work for this. And this is the quick solution. And what is the alternative solution? Uh, we're going to go back to the very beginning. Let's go back to before we cut them out. All right. So now I have two shape right here. And I actually will like to have the shape is not exactly coming into this point. One of the shape, I'm just going to make them smaller like this. All right. And then so you can see outside is no longer have that X shape right there. And let's see if this will come out a better result. And again, when you 3D scale, you also may come out this that's not cutting. So we want to make sure we want to 1D scale out. So it's make sure it is cutting. All right, let's give it a try. We want to do the bowling intersect, this one and this one. So then you can see the shape is much better. It doesn't have that cut over there. And let's give it a try to see if that worked better. With this one, I'm going to extrude this straight going something like this. With that one, I'm going to turn around 90 degree, making a copy. Don't forget to turn around. This one need to be 180 degree difference, holding the shift. So we get something like this. All right. If I'm going to hiding this one, let's go ahead to hide it. You're going to see this is coming into the same issue that have coming into the point. Right. So one of them, I wanted to make them a little bit smaller. And with that, I'm going to 1D scale just this one. So it doesn't touching that point and it doesn't create that cross right there. It's the same idea. Right. So we're going to turn it back with whatever we have there. And let's do a Boolean difference. Like this one will be different uh, from here and here. All right. So this is 
help us try to avoid that sharp point and let's give it a try we want to fit the edges and we want to fit everybody and it should work now let's give it a try this is a closed solid polished surface and that is solving the issue of the naked edges because they coming into the point all right so now the next one is how we're going to turn this into the shape that we want very simple we just need to creating our chain for how you like this chain to be arranged and then we want to moving this to our top view from our top view we want to moving this one to the first position by making a copy and I'm going to move it here. Notice that I'm trying to get this, um, follow the, the curve direction if possible. And then I want to rotate it a little bit to make sure that it's follow this direction. Okay, once we have this one, we can use uh, coming into the transform that you have array along the curve so this one is going to be array and the curve will be this path right and currently we have a way too many so i'm going to do 20 and see if everything look all right look like this is blocking there so maybe that's too many so i'm going to try 16 by reducing the number you have a more gap a more space in between all right so let's take a look on the view right here if we take a look on the render view you're going to see them arranged nicely if you like to see more of the chain, I do have a playlist. I'm going to put it on the right top corner right here to show you the playlist and they have other type of a chain. If you're interested in the clasp, you can check out my course. I have a clasp course that showing you 11 different type of uh, clasps there and for the model for you to download. Hope you enjoy this video. Like and share and comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.